Dan from Bizarre Home Decorating here. Talk about PowerView, Hunter Douglas PowerView uh, accessories to power up your shade. So there's a couple different ways. Um, the way most people know is the, the battery one, which this battery one contains 12 AA batteries, which last about a year and a half with one up, one down per day, which depending on how often you use the shades, these batteries can get drained quite often. <clears throat> Instead of doing the battery one, what we've switched to is we've gone to doing the rechargeable battery one. So this gets mounted up behind the shade and it's actually a rechargeable battery here, which you just plug into a charger, charges back up. So there's no more need for going out and making sure you have 12 AA batteries on hand for every single shade you have. So if you have 10 shades, you need 120 batteries. It's just a lot of stuff to keep and figure out where you can put it in a drawer. Are they all going to work? Uh, we found it much easier and, and a lot better for customer experience to just go to the rechargeable battery wand. Sometimes as shades get bigger, oh, and this just plugs into the shade the same way the battery wand does. Now, if you get into a bigger shade or a shade that's higher up, people are like, well, what, can I, can't I plug this shade in? What are my other options? So. The other option is this happens to be a 20 foot cord. It also comes in a 10 foot length, a four foot length or 15 inch length. And what this does, this will plug into your shade just like any of the battery ones. The power runs through here and then would plug into the DC power adapter, which then plugs into an outlet. And then you always, as long as there's power in your house, your shade will always have power. The downside of doing it this way is that now we have to hide this cord. This cord's hidden very easily if we have drapery panels on the sides of the windows. Uh, otherwise, this cord will be running down. We can put what's called like a little racetrack and hide it by running it down to an outlet and have that which that's paintable. This is not paintable and can be a little bit harder. We've gone to having the ability where we actually make custom lengths of this in our customer's home. So we don't have like a big jumbled up mess either behind the shade or somewhere else in the room. If you do have two shades, we can plug it into a, what's called a Y adapter. And then another shade would plug into here and then plug into the power adapter into the wall. That way we can power up two shades with this. You can't power up any more than two shades with this. There's just not enough power with it. So if you have three shades, you would need two power supplies. Uh, but that way, you don't have to worry about going up high to change the batteries. Uh, for elderly people, even if it's going up one step, this works out really well, and we just hide the wire as best as we can. What we traditionally do is just come off to the side of the window and then straight down and hide it along the woodwork as best as we can. Uh, all of our designers can explain this to you. Uh, if you have any questions, we are the Power View experts in the Milwaukee area. Give us a call, 262-784-2448. Thank you.